very concerned that I may become physically attracted to Ileana. This is a delicate subject, but... Hello, my people. I want you all to know that I just spent like 30 minutes trying to get this setup perfect so that you guys could see my cats being gay in the background. Can you see? Don't focus on me, focus on them. Hello, my people. So I saw this TikTok recently and I was so compelled to make a video about this because I have not been able to stop thinking about this and my new song, Fictional Character, which you should stream. <laughs> I hate me. I am a YouTuber. Unfortunately, I don't know how to cover topics on on TikTok. I'm an OG YouTuber, but I prefer founding father instead because I'm daddy. But anyways, I don't watch reality TV. Instead, as many of my people know, I really like to just escape reality. I don't want to be reminded that life exists. Is that too dark? Anyways, the most experience I've had with reality TV has kind of been when I was little and I used to just love watching rich people fight. And I used to love watching The Housewives of Beverly Hills. And to be honest, I thought that was what reality TV was, just rich people fighting. But there is a certain subsection of reality TV where you can't believe people are just filming this and not going to the authorities. Or you are watching someone that is struggling with something and it is turned into entertainment. The lens is one of, this is entertaining. You're not necessarily supposed to feel sympathetic. Like, isn't it crazy how misfortunate this person's life has been versus, oh my God, this person's life has been so misfortunate. So this show is called Adults Adopting Adults. This show follows multiple families. We're gonna be talking about one that is so insanely concerning, but there are situations where this can actually be helpful to someone and not but the, you'll see. So I'm just gonna start playing it and bear with me. My name's Danny, this is my wife, Christy, and we live in Chillicothe, Ohio. It's her and I, that's our entire family, except for all of our critters. Christy has way too many cats. Just wanna say, as a cat owner, I really don't like what they are alluding to, which is the fact that cats are not your children. They are my sons, got that? Okay. <laughs> About three months ago, I went on social media and one evening read a post from Ileana. Her father died when she was very, very young. So we started communicating via text messages. She looked at me as a father figure and I see her as my daughter. We can't have children of our own. I realized that I had no one in my life to be a, my legacy. Did you ever think that we would someday be adopting a grown woman with a baby. I try not to think too far ahead. Maybe that was the problem. <laughs> Ileana is about to have a baby of her own. The adoption came to my attention when a young 18-year-old girl came and bought a puppy from us. She was interested in adult adoption. Unfortunately, I could not pursue that first young lady because I actually started having feelings for her. She was a very beautiful young lady. So much to unpack. Not only are his words and actions disgusting, but also the amount of people that are enabling this. <sighs> Let me keep showing you, okay? On top of that, he's been unfaithful in the past. What do you want this thing to say? Well, I don't know. What would you want it to say? If it was my poster, I'd want it to say, welcome to Ohio, where's my... It's fine. How do you just film this and not go to this girl and be like, run for your life? Look at his face here. It's creepy. The clips on TikTok were weird, but once you watch the full episode with context, it's actually insane. And this girl was struggling with money and she's pregnant. She was apparently living on the street. Such an unfortunate situation. The way he just thinks that's funny is insane. I think that someone's comedy says a lot about them. And there are also many other statements that show that this was not joking. Let's keep watching. <laughs> you knew it. You knew it. Why are you gonna be such, such a freak show? Yeah. Yeah. show? Naked girls. <laughs> He's still going! It's okay, Jesse. 
my husband has crazy outlandish thoughts and ideas. This is what an enabler does. They belittle things in their head. She's literally making it sound like, oh, you know, my husband has such crazy ideas. He'll drive at 3 a.m. He listens to this weird abstract artist. No! I think that's how she is able to be okay with this situation. It shows that the enabler can be, in my opinion, just as bad. Just standing by and watching and just kind of shrugging it off. I'm sure she is a victim of him as well, but at the same time, she is a grown woman. She should know this is not okay. Our lives are about ready to change. What was with that look? He just looked into my soul and I did not like that. I do not claim this negative energy. I don't want to know the thoughts behind those eyes. Ileana and I have just hit it off and I think she's going to be a <laughs> My hand is just like defensive. That has to be a body language thing. Our marriage is not strong enough to have someone else moving into our house. So I went ahead and bought a camper and set it up right outside the house. Their marriage isn't strong enough. Hmm. I have very strong opinions on this. I do not think that bringing children into a marriage that doesn't have a stable foundation is a way to build that. What we're doing is think about some ground rules so we don't have any miscommunications between us. How are you going to be with us spending time together alone? Oh my god. I hate everything that comes out of his mouth. Oh, obviously I've got to be appropriate. If you truly want to be a father, it's not difficult to not be inappropriate with who you're bringing in as your daughter, unless you clearly have different motivations. Certainly, I'm very- Why are his eyes always creeping me out? He's like- Okay. Very concerned that I may become physically attracted to Ileana. This is a delicate subject, but- don't bring a young girl into your house then. That is not what being a father is, ever. So far, I have not thought of her as a beautiful woman. She is. Christy, tell me what your friends are telling you when you're explaining this adult adoption process. You're able to censor bleep stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> what the f is wrong with your husband? And we're gonna kill him. I stopped caring a long time ago about what people thought about me. I'm happy with who I am. You don't like it? Move on. It's not being happy with who you are. Why is no one considering the young girl and how she feels? It's all about him and his needs and desires. I need to cleanse my eyes, my brain. I need to watch every Barbie movie just to feel something after this. And yes, that is what I do to feel something. <laughs> I'm 22 years old. So we've got our adopters, Christy and Danny, and our adoptee, Ileana, protect her. They are at the airport. Let's go get her. As a gay, I would like to ban him from wearing rainbow, ever. That is now within my control. On behalf of the gays, this man does not deserve rainbow. And yes, we do own rainbow. Or at least this one time we do. I risked my relationship with my wife, and I still am risking that relationship. But right now, I feel good and maybe this is how I pay my pens. He's got this savior complex too, which is even more disturbing because he's clearly got his own motivations. However, he's like, I'm doing something good today. I'm doing a good deed. And he's bringing the poster where he was about to write something that we all heard, right? I checked my phone and Ileana hadn't been active online for hours at that point. Where are you? Where are you? They had this moment where they got really mad because they thought that she was using them for money and I felt no sympathy at all. I'm sorry, but you just made a statement where you were like, I'm doing a good deed today. Then you wouldn't care if you helped this pregnant 20 year old support her baby. That's not even using someone in a selfish way. That's using someone in a way of survival. Isn't that the whole reason why they're letting her stay with them is that they're trying to help her with the situation. They're just upset that they're not getting what they wanted in return. It's conditional. Okay. She maybe is ghosting us. I am going to all the bad places in my mind. I like being right all the time. I like being right all the time. What a horrible thing to say. People that need to be right all of the time never can improve or ever be self-aware. In that I'm being scammed in some way, shape, or form. See, being scammed, I guess maybe their thought was that she's not real, but that wasn't really discussed. They're upset that they sent her money and they thought she wasn't gonna come live with them. Again, their helping her out has conditions, especially for this husband. 
Them sitting there with the poster is literally something I see in my nightmares. Kitties, look away. Do you see them? They're so cute. Don't watch this, boys. Yeah, I'm a little nervous now. Is that her? Oh, that's her. Yep. Yep, it is. It is. She's so cute. She looks so young. Stay away from them. Why is the wife crying? Honestly, maybe the wife is crying because she realizes, holy fluffing shiitake mushroom. <laughs> this is a 20 year old girl, a baby in the grand sphere of life that I've brought in with my creepy husband. Hi. <laughs> He's touching her. Of course he has to give another hug. How do you film this and not just warn the girl and be like, no, this is a storyline we cannot include. The other stories were great and there was still drama, quote unquote. There's another storyline with Derek and Carol. They bring in a girl that's 23. She's been in the foster system a lot of her childhood. There's some interesting conversations that come from this one. Maybe it's just that that story was so deeply disturbing that everything else looks like it was sent from heaven. Just like how every movie after Shrek 2 has been bad to me. Every movie seems bad because nothing will be the same as Shrek 2. Ileana has entrusted me with her life. She traveled halfway across this world. She wants to be with me. Oh, she's not going to want to be with you. I don't like the way that was phrased. I'm looking to be adopted from Danny because I never met my father and my mom had a very bad relationship. That's why I ended up on the streets. I decided to take matters in my own hands and find somebody online because being on the street with a newborn is not an option for me. She never met her dad. No, he's playing with this girl's emotions. This girl wants a fatherly relationship. She never had one. Be happier. I had to wait for my hug. I had to wait for my hug. You know, there's different types of love. Look at the wife. She's like, again, she is also part of the problem, but like she cannot even hide her disgust for him. And it's an appropriate love. And, you know, I call her my daughter. I've been doing that since before she actually got here. And I would protect this young lady till the day I die. He would protect her? How is he going to protect her from himself? Also, the fact that he's taking on the fatherly figure role means that he can very easily isolate her, which a victim in this circumstance, that's extremely dangerous. It's just... This is not just the situation thing. Like this is something that happens and is very real and very, very scary and not entertaining at all. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. <laughs> Would you like some coffee? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. I'm making you breakfast this morning. Setting up such an unhealthy relationship because she said she was living on the streets and now she's going into this situation. Like, oh my God, I wake up and I get coffee and I just get to relax. The other people on this adult adoption group on social media. Their intentions is always questionable and you really have to see behind the screen to what they actually want. I hope she's okay. I really hope she's okay. Responsibilities <laughs> except give birth to a happy little baby. This feels as real as real can be. His voice keeps cracking. He sounds like a teenage boy. He's like, this feels... <laughs> We did it so well. I am a singer. I'm not gonna do that if I ever perform live. I promise, guys. She's cute as the day is long. He's as cute as the day is long. <laughs> what? I think he's like maybe speaking higher than his range is to make himself sound so like sweet and jolly. I don't know. It's weird. At the end of the day, Ileana, I want you to stay right here because I, yeah. I, I like hugging. He's always smiling while delivering the creepiest lines. He's like, because I like hugging on you. The eyes, the smile. I like hugging on you. I can't imagine going to sleep at night knowing I was just filming this for reality TV. You know, getting you here has been a real challenge between Christy and I. There's been a lot of very heated discussions. And so I am very happy that Christy is, you know, kind of coming along and I think I appreciate it. Do you know some of the reasons behind her hesitation? The problem I think was there was just not knowing me 
thinking maybe I'm a scam. She thinks the reason behind the hesitation is because they're questioning her, not that the wife is questioning her own husband. I can't imagine filming this as a producer and then not telling her. I don't care how many clicks you need to get for your show. It's not just knowing something that she doesn't know, like the end of a movie. It's literally knowing something that could save her from some very scary situations. The three of us, we're just gonna be a family. We're gonna share things. So Christy, if you were willing to share our marital problems, this would be a perfect place for you to do it. No. What? Why is he putting that on the wife? Oh my God. His wife needs to get out of this situation. Also, this is her first day. Imagine just being like, care to discuss our marital issues. She has barely talked to Ileana. He has just been going off and off and off about how he feels. And he's like, all right, you gotta do all the hard work. And also it's gonna kind of look like it's your fault in the process. This man is evil. It doesn't do me any good to say anything. It's not fair to another human to bring them into a situation that's got issues. She's got like small moments of clarity, but she doesn't do anything. She doesn't act on anything. I would really hope not this, but she might be in a situation where she is very much so stuck or she's had her own issues and trauma in her life or she feels scared to act on things. She's terrified of him. Whatever it is, there is an innocent girl that is just coming into this that doesn't deserve any of this. Also, it's not only her, but it's her child that she's going to be giving birth to that is also going to be a victim of this circumstance. There's a whole other level I just realized that her kid is also going to be born into this if she stays in this situation and that's also really scary to think about. I need a minute. Run. Do you need more coffee? So then they have a preview for this season and they show the wife is like, I definitely want to leave my husband. It's just this really delicate situation that an innocent person was brought into. There is a power imbalance. You are bringing this girl in as her father. She is financially dependent on you. There's a significant age difference. He's a man, she's a woman, and she's pregnant. She is so vulnerable to this situation. I get really, 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 really upset when people diminish this behavior just because they're right over 18. She's 20. Also, we just had a global pandemic. I don't know when this was filmed, but I tweeted about this the other day. I feel like we really did mature, but without the places to practice those things we learned because a lot of us were just in our rooms for like two years. So she probably isn't even used to functioning in the world as a legal adult. Granted, she's from Austria. The age of consent in Austria is 14. Huh. I'm still disturbed by this. No matter what, I feel like there's gonna be some Stockholm Syndrome because of the fact that she just moved somewhere with different culture. She doesn't know anyone except the people that she has to rely on to live with that already have these disgusting motivations. I don't understand how this is entertainment. They're following multiple families for multiple episodes. So we don't even know if something bad happens to her yet. And that's how they get you to keep watching. You shouldn't have to wait until episode four to find out she's okay. To edit and package something with breaks and interviews, so deeply disgusting. Things like this actually happen and it's not something to manipulate for entertainment. The way they're promoting the show is even weirding me out. What would you do if your future parents showed you all their security cameras? It's not like, oh, what would you do if you were in this situation? What are we gonna do because she's in this situation? I feel bad for Christy and the cats. This is gonna be a crazy ride. Condensing something so serious into, this is gonna be a crazy ride for us without having to actually experience what this human girl is having to experience? How is this a meme? This is someone's life. Having kids to fix a broken marriage is so detrimental to those kids. In this situation, it's the same. This is an innocent person that is being taken under someone's care. No one should be born into this debt where they have to fix something that they weren't even a part of. I do think that adult adoption is not always a bad toxic thing. Having a lack of a healthy childhood shows up in your adulthood and kind of getting to experience a healthy household as an adult is something that people should be able to experience. Adults adopting adults isn't even the weird thing to me at all. It's this storyline that we're following. Anyways, 
I need to go touch some grass, pet my gay cats, and not think about that at all. Subscribe if you're new. What a weird first video to come on. Uh, <laughs> This video is sponsored by me because I could not get a sponsor for this video. So it's me. I have a song called Fictional Character. You should all watch it. It's really gay, it's really cute, and you should go stream Fictional Character for a 0.2% chance of getting a Tesla and a really, I can't say this word online, a fat butt. You know what I wanna say. A fat astronauts are rare to come by. I have Fictional Character merch that I'm obsessed with. I've been wearing this every single day. I'm gonna feature your pages on the screen, my fan page haha <laughs> as well as your posts and normally I would be like don't send hate to this person but like honestly this is free reign if you see someone talking about this online make sure that they are not talking about how entertaining the show is and they are talking about how disturbing it is Whew, that was a lot to take in okay I love you sorry I'm like bye-bye <laughs>